Hey Summit County, welcome. Thanks for joining me today for Yoga with Andy. I'm Andy and we are here today at the Breckenridge Tap House at the gorgeous back patio. We've got lots of sunshine out here. It's a great spot to stop in for lunch or dinner. And today we'll be getting into a nice little 15 minute yoga session. So wherever you might be at home, make some space, get comfy. Uh, if you don't have a mat, that's cool. If you have a pillow or anything available to utilize as props, feel free to grab that and we'll go on and get started. So to begin today, I invite you to just find a comfortable seated position, whatever that might mean to you. And we'll begin with just a few rounds of slow breath to find focus for our practice. Taking a nice deep inhale, start to grow tall through your seat. Let the head lift up out of the shoulders. And on your exhale, start to roll those shoulders up and then back and down towards the spine. So growing tall on your seat on that inhale and then gently pushing the shoulders behind you. Good. From here, we're going to go on and come up to our hands and knees, bringing our knees under the hips, wrists squared under the shoulders. Take a few moments to just gently wake up today, find some movement, shifting the hips side to side, maybe looking over each shoulder, almost creating like a C or J shape with the back. And then we'll begin to walk our hands towards our knees. Knees are still squared under the hips. Deep inhale as you reach high. Start to gaze up towards the sky or your ceiling. Interlace the fingers, flip the wrist, and we'll press our palms away from the head. Gently release the head back if that feels okay on the neck. Deep breath in. On our exhale, release the arms nice and wide, coming to a modified mountain setup here with our arms to either side of the body. Tops of the hands will start to push behind us. Deep breath in as we lift through the heart. Exhale, let those shoulders release down. Awesome. From here, let's go on and bring your right leg off to the side. Your left hip can just be aligned over that knee. Inhale, fly left arm up and over your head. Gently slide your right hand down the leg. Pause for breath as you gaze up towards that inner space by the elbow. Big side body stretch here. Inhale as you rise. Exhale, release your left hand under your shoulder. Right leg is still extended long. Inhale, right hand straight up so you have a nice line from shoulder to hand. And then continue to let that top of the hand release back. Opening up through the heart even more. Let that hand continue all the way to wherever the body lets you go. Option to stay here or option to take it a step further with a different variation, finding the top of your foot or ankle area and opening up that space between heel and hip. Again, you're welcome to take the first option and continue with foot on the ground if that's more comfortable. Good, we'll release the leg down, walk it back to center. Find some gentle movements, shifting side to side arching and rounding and then we'll return back to the knees big inhale reach high exhale interlace those fingers once more press palms up to the sky release the arms all the way to either side for that mountain set up for our upper body extend the top of the hands behind you lift through the heart exhale Good. From here, go on and bring your left leg out to the other side. Right hip is still aligned over the knee. Inhale, right arm up and over. And again, watch out for that left hand. We want it to gently slide down and it's passive here. We want to make sure we're not pushing into the kneecap. Start to look up to the elbow. Continue reaching those fingers long. Inhale, rise. Exhale to the other side. Option one, hand under shoulder. Left arm reaches up high. Top of the hand starts to gravitate behind you. Find your place to pause as you open the heart and across the shoulder. If you took option two on the other side, feel free to join me here. You can find your foot or ankle. Start to push away from the hips into that hand. Find some space between heel and hip.
Gently release, walk it back to center. Good, from here we're gonna go on and find the top of our mat with the hands, spread the fingers wide, tuck the toes, and we'll gently push our hips up to the downward facing dog. As we arrive, go on and square up those feet about hip distance or a little bit wider. Start to engage through the shoulder blades as you press your chest between the knees. Soften the neck. Deep breath in here. Exhale. One more breath in. Start to push yourself to high plank, release the breath, shoulders aligned over the wrists. Option to drop to your knees at any point in time to modify. Or if the wrists aren't feeling good, you could come to forearms as an alternative. Engaging strength through the core, deep breath in. As we exhale, we're gonna go to a low plank, taking it through our vinyasa to chaturanga, upward dog. Turning over those toes, return back to downward dog. Walk it out for a moment, bending each knee. One more inhale here and exhale, let the heels feel heavy. On our next breath then, go on and bring your right leg off the ground, up to the sky. Bring it up nice and high at a bend to that knee, opening through your hips, try to keep your shoulders squared. One more breath here. As we exhale, step your right foot all the way up to the top of our mat, we'll gently release it with control. Underneath the knee area, the ankle will align. Keeping left hand grounded, inhale, right arm all the way up to the sky. Another option here, you could bring that hand behind you for a half bind, bringing the top of your hand to that low back space or your left hip. Continue to let your shoulder open. From here, we're gonna go on and release our left knee down onto the earth if it's not already there. And then we'll bring that right arm back in front of us here, palm is turned down, deep breath in. As we exhale, bring that arm out to the side and behind you. So as we do this, feel free to let that right knee open up a little bit. You'll feel a slight opening through the hip. And then coming back, up to center. One more breath in, we're gonna come back for a second round. Maybe that pinky finger moves a little further this time. And we'll come forward to center. Release your hand to the inside of the foot. Start to walk your hands forward a step and let that right knee push forward over the top of your foot. Start to feel a quad stretch into the hip flexor area on that left leg. And then we'll realign that knee back over your ankle. We'll take a look back at our left knee, tuck your toes, lift the knee, and we're gonna hop that foot forward slightly and angle it out. From here, we're gonna walk to the side of our mat to your left, and we'll shift our hips to the right heel. So big stretch to the inner thigh on that left side. Good, start to push your hips up to center, walk it to center for a moment, align both toes to face the same direction. Deep breath in, come to a flat back. Exhale, release to the earth. Inhale, rise up to standing, utilizing your core to get you there. We'll come up to the top of our mat, left foot steps up to meet the right. Create a little space at the top as we bring both feet nice and narrow together. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, dive to a fold. Pause at your fold for two breaths. Find some flexibility through the back of the legs. Gently release deeper. Ground your hands at the top of the mat. Feel free to bend your knees however much you might need to to get there. And we'll step or hop back for high plank. Deep breath in. Exhale, take it through your flow or option to continue holding at high plank. We're gonna meet back at downward dog when you're ready. 
As we find downward dog, big breath in, left leg will rise. Add a bend to that left knee, watching out for the shoulders, open the hips. Step it up to the top again, left side comes up, and we'll have our knee aligned over that ankle. And from here, inhale, left arm's gonna fly up to the sky, right hand remains grounded. At this point, you could have your right leg up high still like I have it, or feel free to drop it at any point. And taking it into your half bind, top of the hand releases behind you. Gazing over that shoulder, start to feel that hip open further. And we'll come back to center. Bringing the top of the hand up, start to reach behind you. Coming forward as we breathe in. Again, you can do this high or low with that right leg. Returning back once more. Let that pinky finger travel even further this time. Inhale, return to center. Release your hand to the inside of the foot. Start to step it up once and we'll bring that knee over the ankle and over the top of the foot. Gently walking the hands back a step, find your right knee, tuck the toes, lift the knee, hop forward a step, angle it out, we're gonna walk to our right. You could adjust your front foot to point the corner of your mat, and then letting hips sink to left heel this time. Right leg is nice and long, feel that inner thigh stretch. And then we'll gently start to walk it to center, going further to your right, Toes will align the same direction. Inhale as we gaze forward to a flat back. Exhale, release in. Inhale, rise to standing, come up with strength through the core. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, palms to the heart. Adjust left foot to face forward, right foot steps up to meet it. Inhale, reach for the sky. And exhale, take a fold. Feel free to hang out in your fold for a moment. Make time for whatever movements are still calling to you right now, whatever you need to incorporate into your practice to start your day. Otherwise, feel free to pause here. At this point, you could move all the way down to your mat to find Shavasana or Corpus Pose to seal out the benefits of your practice. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.